Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties. Today I want to show you um, a really simple trick to layer your vinyl designs. And um, this is for adhesive vinyl, not for HTV. Um, all you need is some parchment paper, and I will link to this parchment paper in the post. Um, obviously, you'll need your transfer tape to transfer the design. Previously, I was a big fan of contact paper, but they've changed it up somehow, and now it leaves like this sticky residue on my design, so I'm no longer a fan. I found this awesome, awesome, awesome transfer tape, and I'll link to that too. Um, then you just need your design and some tape. Okay, so I'm going to take my tape and just, you know, do the little circle thing. And the reason I'm doing this is just so that this sticks flat to my surface. I don't want it lifting up while I'm working on it. Okay, so now it's stuck there. It's not going to come up. So I'm going to layer my white layer next. And then I'll have my red. And then my blue. And last of all, I'll have my yellow. Okay. So I'm going to stick my white to my transfer tape, burnish it, peel it off. I love this transfer tape, guys. It's amazing. Okay. Now here is where your contact paper comes into play. So I'm going to set that down right there. I think I'm going to, I'm sorry, here's where your um, parchment paper comes into play. I'm going to cut it just a little bit smaller. I don't need this much parchment paper. It's like they made this specific parchment paper for crafters. I don't know if you can see, but there are grids on this parchment paper. It's a beautiful thing. Okay, so the reason you want this is your vinyl will not stick to the parchment paper, yet I can see through the parchment paper. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my white layer and I'm gonna put it at the edge of my parchment paper where I have just a little bit of my black showing through so that I can line it up on that. Okay, so you see, Hello Kitty is stuck to the parchment paper. And now I can look through the parchment paper and make sure that I've got this design just exactly where I want it. See how I can just move it all around? I can line it up perfectly, make sure it is where I want it to be. Okay, now, I left a little bit of this black over here, not underneath the parchment paper, so that I could stick my white layer to it just a little bit. Now watch, I'm going to lift this up, and pull it out and it just lays down perfectly, right where you want it. You don't have to line up anything else. I'm gonna burnish this down. Okay. And get my transfer tape off. Come here, transfer tape. <laughs> it sticks too well. It's beautiful though, I love it. I'm just gonna kind of hold this design down so I can pull the transfer tape back off. Because we are not done. Okay. Okay. So here is layer one. I'm gonna burnish it. There's a few little air bubbles that need to pop out.
Okay, I'll get my pin after this in a little bit and pop the rest of these air bubbles out. Okay, so the next layer we're going to do is the red layer. Oh, sorry, a doggy bumped into the camera. Okay, so I'm going to use the same piece of transfer tape I had. Stick it down. Get my design off. Okay. Come back to my parchment paper that I had. Stick it to where just a little is hanging off the side. And then get this one lined up right where I want it. Okay, so that's going to be exactly where I want it to be. I've got this little piece of bread right here still stuck to the black so that I can lift it up without it moving. Slide my parchment paper out and just put it right down. Burnish, burnish, and move on. Okay, let's get the little blue overalls. I'm not even going to burnish this, I'm just going to push it with my hands. This parchment or this transfer tape is just amazing. Okay. My parchment paper back. Leave just a little hanging off the side. And then line this up wherever I need it to be. I think that's going to look pretty good. All right, push down just the little bit of the blue that I had stuck on the black. Lift up my transfer, pull out my parchment paper, stick it down. Okay, all I have left is the nose, the little tiny nose. I don't think I'm going to need to do the parchment paper trick for the nose. I think I'm just going to stick it down. All right, and Hello Kitty is done. I'm going to put my transfer tape back on because this is also um, something that I can reuse over and over again like I did with the um, contact paper. Peel this little girl up. Take the tape off the back of her. And like I said, there are a few bubbles in here, but you can push them out. If you can't push them out, you can get um, a straight pin and poke a little hole and pop them out. But that's it. We're done. That is perfectly, come here. I do this every time. There we go. That is perfectly lined up with no hassle, no trouble. I didn't have to peel up anything and restick it. This is the best way I have ever found to uh, make layered designs. All right, we'll see you next time.